we have been much uh, links to culture to the crafts of culture, and uh, to the value of sustainability or essentiality or uh, like what is essential or and what is useful what uh, meaningful and those values have kind of guided whatever uh, we have in our brands come up with in our product lines which has which is an expression which ultimately anybody uh, you know as the first window to our company has been able to look through and say i think we align to what we see because that's the first point of contact it's like you know it's the window and that's what draws somebody in to to the aesthetic and eventually to the many layers that it holds whether it's a tiny little product or it's a furniture or a light or how it's put together it has that centrality of thought it has that core value which echoes through our organization and from where uh, we started with uh, just two three of us initially years back to now we are like 250 plus 4000 artisans all uh, at least the the that culture it also echoes the same value so as a as a creative uh, individual as i mean as more of an entrepreneur i'll call myself a entrepreneur more than um, an architect but uh, uh, it, building the community you know like how uh, that has always uh, been one of our things to collaborate and to build a community to use the no you know like the intelligences of all the people to bring a common dialogue to forth hotels as mediums for people to experience unexplored facets of those regions i realized uh, uh, very early on that that just the sheer amount of collective pool of human wisdom and consciousness that sits in indigenous communities may have a lot of value in the way that we design urban systems uh design living environments and just the knowledge that i gathered from there plus the insights that i got from the people that i met on the way uh i thought that it would be good to start a sandbox project which is done today which is which is essentially uh how do we create living environments that create the necessary conditions to manifest human potential uh so that's that's been the journey from hotels to this place when you speak about balance of luxury hospitality and this i don't think that they are uh different sides i don't think that they are different at all um what is the story of a region that you really want to tell uh and that has been a learning process for myself as well hotels as mediums for people to experience unexplored facets of those regions i realized uh, uh, very early on that that just the sheer amount of collective pool of human wisdom and consciousness that sits in indigenous communities may have a lot of value in the way that we design urban systems uh design living environments and just the knowledge that i gathered from there plus the insights that i got from the people that i met on the way uh i thought that it would be good to start a sandbox project which is done today which is which is essentially uh how do we create living environments that create the necessary conditions to manifest human potential uh so that's that's been the journey from hotels to this place when you speak about balance of luxury hospitality and this i don't think that they are uh different sides i don't think that they are different at all um what is the story of a region that you really want to tell uh and that has been a learning process for myself as well hotels as mediums for people to experience unexplored